Hey, how's it going everyone? Today I'm going to show you a new way to do the unlimited ammo glitch without server hopping. The previous method to leave the server was found by a few PTS members that were testing over there. And this recent method was discovered by a member of mine that sent me a message. The first step is to use two weapons that you would like to swap the ammo over with. For example, I will be using this hunting rifle right here. Next, I'll want to go and find the next weapon, which I'm going to be using a flamer. Now this is a two shot, which it does not matter, but I'm just gonna you know, clarify what I'm using here. You can use any weapon you want. If it is single shot, this is the best way to do it with the single shot weapons is to use the favorite wheel. Now for this next step, we wanna use one of the weapons in our favorite wheel. The first weapon that we choose will be the one the ammo is swapped over to. We wanna waste all that ammo immediately so that we only have one bullet left. Now you wanna take note of how much ammo I have all together, which is 93. What we want to do for this next part is open up that favorite wheel. We then want to hold down the fire button and then choose the weapon of our choice in the favorite wheel. And as you see, it'll be 100 right there. And then when I swap over to this one, it'll say 00. Instead of leaving the server, let's just drop the weapon and pick it back up. I will go ahead and drop the weapon. So go ahead, pick it back up. And then when we go to the good old weapon and we pop that sucker back out, what do you know? We have 93 ammo in the top part. Now let's say that you don't want to drop this in a public game, which that makes a lot of sense because you don't want to lose your weapon. If you're close to some sort of possible, uh, you know, maybe your tent or some sort of uh, stash box, this would be perfect or even a container. So we're going to do the same method that we did previously where we just want to fire it. Now there I messed it up, so I'm going to swap back to the hunter rifle and then I'm going to hold down the trigger, choose the gun, and then, okay, it says zero. We want to go to our stash box or we can go to a suitcase as well and then we want to swap over that hunting rifle back and forth and then when we do this you're going to notice that okay we have our ammo back to where it was and that is either 93 or 92 i think i wasted some ammo out of this hunting rifle but yep 88 is right there so i wasted about five ammo to do the glitch again but yep there you go you could do this with the actual stash box or without the container and this does work for multiple items I'm going to show you that I've done this with the shotgun. And uh, yes, so just have a great time with this, guys. I mean, this was the method that, you know, was supposed to be patched. They did technically, they technically did fix it where, you know, hey, it would give you just zero, zero. But then now, of course, if you left the server, that will restore it. But now it's even better because you don't have to leave the server and you can simply just drop the weapon on the ground and pick it back up or you can just put it in your stash box, or if, again, if you have a tent that is near you, you can do that as well. And I think that at the end of the day, you guys are gonna enjoy this video. I hope that you really did like this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If not, give it a thumbs down. And if you guys wanna check out the recent duplication video, you can. That should still work by the time this video goes up because I might be wrong, but I'm hoping that Bethesda does not patch that. I think they have too much crap on their mind. And if they do patch that, then, that goes to show that they do not care about the main bugs in the game and they just want to patch those crazy, crazy duplication glitches. But yep, that is it for me. Have a great day. Take care of yourselves. Live well and see you on the next one.